Hello Taurus, welcome to this bonus love reading for March. We're gonna be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what their intentions or next possible actions will be towards you, towards the connection. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Uh, feel free to check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance from your birth chart. Because sometimes those messages can resonate more than your sun sign. Before I jump into the reading, um, I do want to mention that I'm doing a giveaway of a personal reading with me. There are two possible spot, uh, spots, so two winners. So if you're interested in winning a personal reading with me, then check out the description box for details on how you can enter that. Okay, so let's jump right in. For Taurus, angels, guys. what message, what guidance do you have for Taurus regarding this person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? The person that Taurus is thinking about or connecting with at this time, what are their thoughts, feelings towards Taurus? What are their thoughts, feelings towards Taurus? Thoughts, feelings towards Taurus. Let's see. The Hierophant, okay, well, well, there you are, Taurus. Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups, wow. Well, right away I'm thinking about someone that wants a do-over, but why, why am I thinking that right away? Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's like someone feels like this is their chance. That's what I heard, it's my chance. Or maybe they're thinking, this is my chance to do whatever it is that I need to do. To come together with Taurus, to celebrate something with Taurus, to reunite with Taurus. Page of Cups is here. I feel like they're visualizing this. Like this is their imagination. Like I'm picturing like a thought bubble with this card in it. Hmm. Let's get some energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Taurus. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Taurus. Restoring balance. Balance is being restored. Resolution, harmony, stability. What else? What else can you tell me about this person's energies towards Taurus? I heard I need to fix this. Burning passion and deep regret. Yeah. Deep regret at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like this is someone that's very motivated to fix something because they're burdened by regret or they have um, uh, guilt uh, over what's, they feel guilt, I guess I should say. Sorry, I have a whole bunch of messages going through my mind right now. Burning passion, the chemistry is off the charts. I, I get the sense more like it's, a, I'm picturing someone that's like, um, constantly drawn to this idea um once again the three of cups is like what i feel they visualize and they think about it all of all the time what else do we need to know about this person's thoughts feelings towards taurus what do we need to know about their thoughts feelings towards taurus i'm really struggling what else do we need to know what else do we need to know? I'm ready to commit. I feel trapped. Bottom of the deck. Hmm. Well, the I'm ready to commit card is not just commitment as in you, you're ready to commit to someone. I also interpret that card as someone that's ready to commit to a plan commit to taking action so we'll see what we get here now i'm really struggling and i feel trapped um i feel like maybe this person is in a bad place right now or feels like they're stuck wherever they are tell me about the higher font let's clarify these down here tell me about the higher font why is the higher font here four of pentacles why is the higher font here why is the higher font here? Wow, Ten of Swords. I feel like this person is still holding on to you despite the fact that something didn't work out. 
or despite the fact that an ending is looming. It's like they're hoping for a chance still, Ace of Pentacles, even though it's a Five of Pentacles. Um, there's a Five of Pentacles right now that someone's feeling or is in, so there has been a loss or someone will experience a loss, but they're hoping for an Ace of Pentacles. This is very, like these, these two are night and day. <clears throat> I'm also getting with the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, it's like a lucky break or an opportunity at the right time. Saving grace, um, that kind of energy. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Hmm. Can I get one more? Tell me about the Three of Cups. Three of Swords. Um, okay, some of you, there was another person involved. <clears throat> Others of you, I'm getting that this person is very stubborn. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. I think they want a Three of Cups when there's a Three of Swords going on. It's almost like this Three of Swords needs to be addressed. Some sort of pain, heartbreak, some sort of difficulty. This is what needs to be almost like addressed, but it's like someone's focused on this Three of Cups. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like this is someone that wants a second chance of some sort. Yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, I'm getting stubborn energy, but I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling good about it. Um, it's like someone that's being stubborn when they really should not be, or stubborn against all odds or despite. It's, it's like they're being stubborn when they should be something else. I don't know what's going on here. But I just, I don't really love that energy when I see it, when I focus on it. It's like someone fighting for something. And instead of fighting for something, they should be doing something else. Hmm. Taurus, if this is resonating with you so far. Is there someone that wants to fix things with you that you would give a second chance or are you just done? Because I almost, I don't know, I keep getting that message for Taurus. And I know there's someone that's watching my videos, a, a group of you that that is resonating for because it keeps coming up. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Wow, the Empress. Taurus, I mean, you're showing up here in all kinds of ways. The Hierophant, the Empress. I see I see you as an Empress here. I don't always get that with the Empress, but I, I'm getting that here with you. There's the Emperor and the Four of Wands. This person thinks they're the Emperor and you're the Empress. Aries energy. The masculine with the feminine and I'm going to be able to make things right. Four of Wands. This person's hoping for a lucky break. What's behind here? You make me happy. I have to give something up. I hate the distance between us. Yeah. I think that this person, um, they're not happy where they're at. And so they're thinking about you. But I feel like the real issue is not being addressed. Some of you are dealing with a person that they left you for someone else, but they're not, they're fe they feel trapped there and they're struggling there. And they're focused on like fixing things with you here. Let me get one more. Can you get one more for the 10 of pen? Um, not the 10 of pen, the wheel of fortune. Can I get one more please? For the wheel of fortune, can I get one more please? 
for the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the number three is very important. Hmm, Four of Cups. The Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. These are like opposite energies here as well. In the sense of like, the Four of Cups is so busy focusing on the wrong thing that they will never be a Six of Wands. At least it will take them some time to get there. Because right now they're disinterested. They're not interested. They are close to new opportunities. They're not willing to really put themselves out there. They can't focus on anything but what's already happened. Six of Wands is like, I have won. I have conquered. Everyone can see me doing well. Success is at hand. Two very um, different energies here. I feel like what's going on here is that this person is wishing for a Six of Wands when they need to focus on something else. It's like they're focusing on this Six of Wands. Like this Six of Wands, imagine this is like a little like the imagination. Same with this Three of Cups. Someone's imagining this Six of Wands, but they're not seeing this in front of them. It's like the elephant in the room. There's something that this person needs to address. And maybe it's the case, for example, is it, this is just an example. If there is a third party and they left you for this third party, they're thinking about getting together with you, committing to you, and they're not addressing the fact that that third party exists. That, that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. What are their intentions, possible next actions towards Taurus? What are their intentions, possible next actions towards Taurus? Five of Pentacles. What are their intentions, possible next actions towards Taurus? The Fool. Yeah. It's like I'm struggling. I'm thinking about a new beginning, a place where I'm free and not burdened anymore, not struggling. What are their intentions? Then anyways, what I was saying before, the number three is very important. Three, three months, three weeks, March, three people. Ace of Cups reverse. There's just so many threes here. I think this person's, their intention is to start something with you. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, exactly. But they're so focused on what they're driven and desired by, you know, what they're driven by, what their desire is. That they don't really, I feel, it's, yeah, this person is like, all they're thinking about is a happy ending here. I'm going to get Taurus. I'm going to have happiness with Taurus, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm sorry. My dogs are barking outside. Please ignore them. So what I see here is them taking a leap of faith, some sort of risk. Let's see, what's the fool? What's the fool? Why is the fool here? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They're going to they're gonna risk it even though I feel like they should think twice. So I feel like this person is probably going to tell you some sort of feelings that they have. They're going to take a risk and talk to you. And I think they're also going to try to tell you what they're thinking or feeling about the future. So it's going to be up to you, Taurus, if you want to restore balance with this person or not. I'm going to leave it here because my dogs are going crazy. Thank you so much for watching this bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to enter the reading um, giveaway. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.